glimpse of Roach flexing his muscles before we go back to work. We are in LaGrange, and I believe this is Rollins Brook, going after a bear we call Honey. These are streams and deadwaters we use as roads when they freeze up. You can get a lot of places out in that lowland. It's really fun to get out, out there and see everything froze up. Again, Roach flexing his muscles a little bit, showing his skills. <laughs> and Shu, he's trying to get off the ice here. <laughs> Alright, Lisa's taking a read. So on this den, we jumped ahead here, we're loading up now, but uh, Boss had pushed ahead a little on his sled, and if you can see that beaver den, the beaver lodge right there in the top of the screen, he uh, where his sled is parked, he could look over and see the hole where the bear was. We actually didn't know where she was, but just rode right up next to her. So we're hastily trying to load up here while the guys and Lisa are getting around the back side, cover the back door. This isn't uh, this isn't our normal way of doing business. We, we like to have all this done before we get next to the den, but like I said in other videos, every den's different, every approach is different. Sometimes this happens. So this bear is supposed to have two yearlings with her. So boss is going to load up some yearling syringes. They're pointing to me that the entrance to the den is over here. I haven't seen this yet, so we're not sure what it's what we're going to see when we round the corner, but these beaver lodges, occasionally the bears will get out there and you can see this is out in a big swamp. They'll dig into the side of the den and kind of make their own hole. And it makes for a great structure in the winter time for them and it stays dry too if the water comes up or down it usually is, stays above the water level so around in the corner here take a peek in we're expecting there to be three bears in here the mother and two yearlings So looking for a good jab here. That looked pretty good. Checking the time, just like before, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is a long time when you're excited trying to stand still, especially on this den where we're all kind of pretty excited. We just rode up on this den and we're all sitting here looking at each other. So you do your best, but it's harder than you think. So I'm gonna... We call this the house. The house that slides over the, um, the syringe. Sometimes when those needles get bent after the jab, you gotta straighten them out a little bit. You gotta be really careful. You kinda can just inch that off. Get a cap on that needle. I kind of like this boss. You can tell we're all pretty excited. He's he's telling the story when he drove up and saw the bear. <laughs> Caught him off guard. <laughs> yeah, good animation there by boss. You can say a lot without saying anything. So it's been a few minutes now. Um, we can see the bears down at this point. There are two yearlings in there, and they are not sleeping. The yearlings, they're at an age where they're, they're fairly big, 50 plus pounds, but they, they still are relying on mom to protect them, so they'll stay right with mom. You can see Lisa's got two syringes here, one for each yearling, and she is the smallest one. So she usually gets uh, dubbed the mole 
She's the one that goes in, and she's going to hand syringe the yearlings. And in the background, Chu and Boss are exchanging some more stories. So we're switching out some gear. Lisa's going to pull a few layers off and get ready to go into the den. Which doesn't seem natural, but she's done this for 10 years at this point, so it's a fairly normal, normal thing. And the yearlings again, you'll see. Here, this is from her perspective, climbing in. It's shocking, we're out in the middle of this bog, but if, if you look how dry it is in this den, and at times you'll see the dust coming up in the light. It's dusty and dry, it's really warm. Well, it's warm enough. And it's my perspective looking at her feet sticking out of the side of the beaver house. But you can see right here, uh, mom is closest to the flashlight and the two humps in back are the two yearlings. And you can see they're just, Lisa is literally a foot away from them, but they uh, they know mom, they're safe with mom, so they're going to stay. So she's going to hand syringe the first yearling here. You can see she pokes it in and gives them the dose. And then she usually signals somehow to us outside that that was the first yearling, and then we'll write the time down. Every bear gets its own sheet that we fill out. They'll be handled as an individual. And now for the second yearling, you can see his head's up. These bears are not sleeping, they're just, they're fully aware of what's going on. Some yearlings are different. Some are squirmy and take matters into their own hands. These bears are they're very good. They're staying, they're sitting tight. They're not trying to bite or fight or anything. You can see he's looking around a little bit. <laughs> Probably wondering what that light is. So now both bears have the drug on board, and it's just a matter of, uh, you know, waiting another 10 minutes for them. Mom's sleeping really well right now. We don't go in there until mom's out. <laughs> I was watching a spider, and the, and the mom let out a big exhale. And it started. <laughs> yeah. 